Um, so, um, watch this. Let, let me show you one little thing. Uh, mission. Watch this, it could be over before you know it. That's uh, pretty much everything I did this week. And I didn't draw that chopper because DMAC did that. Um, it's also not done yet because right now the rope drops but the soldiers just appear magically underneath the helicopter. But I had a very unproductive week because uh, we took a little, uh, little hotel stay for a couple of days and the rest of the week I just couldn't get into it and I figured well I deserve a break so I took a break. So uh, this was everything I did this week pretty much for this game. I did a couple of other things but this was most of it. So um, if you have any questions drop them in the comments below. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe, like and I'll see you next week. And you're still watching, uh, which is a great thing because that means you notice that the video is a little bit longer than that previous thing. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. I had a lot of questions over the last months to do a studio tour. And I normally think, why would I do that? Because my studio is extremely tiny. It's just a little room. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, everything you see in the background when I do my normal videos, that's almost everything that studio is about. But uh, hey, I need a video for today, so let's just dive into a little studio tour, uh, starting with this. You might have noticed them in the background. Uh, these are just some artworks from graphic novels that we uh, read and collect, and they look awesome. So uh, that's why they are up here. And, um, pretty cool. Which brings us to this door, and uh, this, this, this is our bedroom. So um, the thing that about this bedroom is that uh, this door right here is the door next to the studio where all the magic happens, obviously. I, I mean, the, yeah, that's where the magic happens. Uh, that's my studio. This is literally everything and that's where I sit and normally record. Then there's that little corner over there and that's the end of the studio tour. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. All right, so besides having a studio tour, you probably also want to know about my hardware and what actually makes these games happen. Uh, first things up is the Acer Aspire 7 laptop, a Windows PC. My first in over a decade. I used to be a Mac user, but I, I talked about this uh, last year on the channel as I was searching for a good laptop to replace that MacBook. Um, Apple is just... Uh, it's expensive, we all know that, but it's, they are also messing up their ecosystem, I think. And it's just, I don't like it anymore. So um, I want to focus more on PC games and that means I can just do all my stuff on Windows and I don't need to really use a Mac and for the stuff that I do need to do on iOS. I still have my old MacBook, it still runs. So um, this laptop is also like a little under a thousand euros. A MacBook over here would be 3,000 euros. So this is a I can buy three of these and still be probably a cheaper off and and more have a more powerful device than a MacBook. So it's crazy. Um, I did add a bigger monitor to the setup, um, mostly because well why not? I had the room for it and I don't really like using two monitors. I know some developers have three monitors or even more. Why? It's just, I'm, I noticed that I'm doing most of my stuff on this big monitor and that small monitor, the laptop screen is mostly just distraction. Uh, there's Discord there, there's sometimes I open up my email and let it open and I see messages come in. Um, Twitter is on that screen and all those things that are pretty much a distraction. So most of the time I close them except my Discord. Um, I don't need that many screens. I don't really see the functionality of it. And I'm sure you can find reasons to have multiple screens, but I can also find multiple reasons to not have multiple screens. So uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, keyboard is a Logitech MX keys and it's very solid. I like the keys. They're very easy to use and um, it can hook up to multiple devices. I think it's also hooked up to my little Raspberry thing I have over here. So that's pretty neat. Uh, the mouse is a Logitech M705. 
and I'll link all the stuff below the description or at least give the names of what I what I have I don't have Amazon links or whatever um, I really like it I think this keyboard should last me a decade or so and a couple of laptops maybe even longer and um, yeah I'm a cheap kind of guy so these aren't the most expensive things out there they're just uh, the stuff I could all buy and all this combined was less money than a new MacBook which was pretty much uh, what I was aiming for so good win on that one the desk I work on is from the IKEA it's a very simple uh, standing sitting desk with a manual crank and I know everybody goes for all that fancy automated stuff but let's face it maybe I'll do it up or down like once a week and that crank is just gonna be like 10 or 20 seconds if you want to get a standing desk and want to be healthy but you can't manage to crank it up or down then maybe you should just buy some uh, gym equipment because uh, you're not really being healthy at all this is just very cheap very easy very simple and um, it's a great place to work at all right maybe it was a little bit more than 20 seconds but you get the point it's uh, comfortable also I used to work at the kitchen table and I still sometimes work at the kitchen table just uh, grab my laptop sit downstairs and work there because just like the vibes downstairs and there's more light and more it's also very hot in this room uh, the Sun is here all day and um, luckily I live in the Netherlands so the Sun will die on us in like a week or so when fall starts and then it won't be as hot in here but right now I'm sweating you don't need to know that um, let's continue with the tour this chair I had a lot of comments on this chair already I know it's the kitchen table chair and it's not the best most comfortable chair in the world and a lot of you are sitting in those very comfortable chairs but actually because it's uncomfortable I have to uh, change my pose every now and then which is good because that's movement and I think that's even healthier than being very comfortable in a chair for many hours in a row so um, cranking up the desk by the way is maybe I maybe do it one day or one afternoon per week uh, the, most of the time I'm sitting at the desk but it, I try to vary it a little bit here and there so that's that so a lot of other stuff in my office is um, to be honest mostly just a nice decoration for my YouTube videos um, a lot of it doesn't really have any function let's just start over here I think you've seen this uh, these shelves a couple of times in some of the videos like all of the videos and uh, what's here is just cool stuff uh, this is functional these are a bunch of backup drives they're all uh, one terabyte I believe freecom uh, a bunch of stuff is on there sound effects uh, backups you name it a lot of backups there's an old Game Boy over here just for show uh, it does still run but we only have Tetris in it uh, these clay figurines I made them myself on top of a little blank money uh, cool stuff just a wire I need to charge everything and hook up everything to my computer this just looks awesome Wolverine it has no function although I think it's a piggy bank yeah it's a piggy bank originally it just looks awesome a couple of old cameras some heroes of loot stuff here my light a uh, little pac-man stress ball a controller I have no idea from what it is it was from something it doesn't work it has no function but the colors are pretty cool uh, same with this ball although I use it as stress ball sometimes but it has no function USB drive to uh, or micro SD card for the USB um, mostly to get my videos off the camera and a Raspberry Pi that's just sitting there being idle and not having any function at all a couple of caps mostly this is just cool decoration for my videos else it would just have been a very boring wall and of course then we're moving on to uh, this which is partly functional uh, all the games I've been playing on PS4 PS3 uh, Nintendo 3DS DS uh, Wii PlayStation 2 and a bunch of video movies behind there it's um, just a lot of cool inspirational stuff and um, I've played all the games but right now it's mostly just all filler again for the studio it just looks cool as a backdrop 
And since I am a game developer, it's pretty cool to have actual games in the background, which I, I thought it made sense. But also my caps, the residual cap, Gunslugs caps, these can all be purchased on the merch store. I just had to try all of them to make sure it's good quality. And um, these type of caps are great quality. So drop by on the shop for our Pixel stuff gear thingies. So my background is usually this, this area, and um, well, the TV is here to test stuff on there. Like uh, I have a couple of uh, PlayStation developer kits in this cabinet, which I can't show you, but I hook them up to the TV so I can actually play test stuff. And sometimes I still hook up my PlayStation 3, which is uh, right underneath there. Um, it still works. And every now and then I play Split Second on it, which is just the best racing game ever. Um, bunch of other stuff my old macbook is here i have a lot of stuff that that's there and if i need it but most of the time it's just a bit junky and um, i don't know i think i have too much stuff that i don't really need so there i should get rid of it but every now and then you do need these things and in here there is a stack of old comic books some of these are i think 80 70 years old right now so it's like very old spider-man comics sadly they don't really have any value anymore because they're not their quality has uh, i wasn't really as a kid i read them a lot like a lot and i threw them around and the quality is not that great but it's still nice to have them although at some point i probably just dumped them because i don't read them anymore so junk 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 a lot of junk a tiny office and it's mostly filled with junk then of course we have a cool poster in the background. Um, right now it's residual. I still want a new residual poster with the new artwork. It's coming, but it's taking a lot of time. And eventually there will be something else here again. Uh, the Funko Pop collection with another key light, which is for the videos, just to light up this area a little bit and gives me depth between this wall and where I sit. Uh, the Funko Pops, Marty and the Duck, of course. Back to the Future, favorite movie ever. Uh, Spider-Man, favorite superhero ever. Bruce Willis in Die Hard. I mean, do I need to explain these things? Um, this one probably, Lara Croft. Um, I loved all the games, loved all the movies, loved the comic books and everything. But it's mostly, um, I couldn't find an Indiana Jones Funko Pop. So this was the best replacement for them. Um, these are just extra. They look cool and interesting and uh, nothing special, but um, they fill out the plank until I find an actual Indiana Jones Funko Pop or something better. And some of these might be replaced. But for now, this is it. And the top shelf has some uh, stuff, random stuff, figurines. Uh, this just because it looks a little bit like the Orange Pixel logo. I'm not even sure where we got this one. I think from a supermarket in the Netherlands. Not sure. Uh, this is one that I still have to uh, decorate, a Funko Pop, just like the other clay figurines. And these two guys are uh, usable as posing material and then drawing how they pose. And honestly, I never really use them, but they're here when I do need them. Moving on. All right, so uh, this is pretty much my junk corner. Of course, another poster. This is the universe, the Orange Pixel universe from um, oldest happening in that universe, the Horrors of Loot to Sir Questionnaire all the way to the latest happenings, which is a residual up there and then space grunts in the far future. Um, Orange Pixel Timeline, also a poster that's available on the Orange Pixel store. And I just mostly create those type of things for my own office and entertainment, as you can see. Um, John Corner has just a bunch of stuff. Uh, these are all full with uh, USB cables, uh, old phones, old gadgets, old devices. I'm just gonna show you. and. It's a lot of junk. So first up here is an IK. This is pretty much, this is the hardware. It's a joystick gamepad controller thing and you would just place your iPad in there and Bluetooth would connect it to this. And then it looked like an arcade cabinet. Um, fun, interesting, but I think we're gonna throw it away pretty soon because um, new games won't work with this controller anymore and the new iPads don't really fit in there anymore. So. It just looks interesting in the background, but it's pretty much junk. Uh, this is the microphone I use every now and then to record certain things for my games. I have a Logitech webcam over here. And like I said, this is an Ouya, so this is really the junk corner. 
now going to the Ouya thing. Um, ring fit. Using this almost every day it actually uh, helps a lot to stay fit and moving. And this is another thing I'm not going to talk about because why Nintendo? Why did you do the Wii U? Only game I have on it is Mario Kart. Only thing I played on it is Mario Kart. <sighs> Let's not talk about it. Everything else is just, um, like I said, it's junk, wires, stuff that I don't really need or use. Old devices, like a lot of old phones and controller and things. More wires and uh, old headphone or old microphone for my camera. And the list goes on and on. And there's always something here if I need it, but it's always gonna be uh, difficult actually finding it. So uh, that's the cabinet area, the junk corner. The only thing that shouldn't be in this corner is the iArcade. Um, I just haven't found a great spot for it in my office. My office is just too small for it. It's a very big thing. I want to give it a proper location and a thing so that I can actually play the games on it. Um, but it's big and my office is very tiny. So yeah, um, shouldn't be here on the ground. It should be, I mean, it's a great thing. It's a great device and I love playing my games on it. I just can't place it anywhere yet. Wow, so um, that's pretty much everything in my office. That's the whole tour, that's everything. Um, except, well, obviously um, a lot of my studio office is set up for these YouTube videos as well. So let me just show you uh, what I used to create all these videos. It's probably the only thing missing. So here we go. I use a Sony uh, a7 III. This is not a cheap camera. This is um, 2,500 euros, I'd like to say. 25, a little bit, around 2,500 euros. Uh, but the quality, and uh, I can always trust this camera to almost always out of focus on me. And, and it just looks amazing and good. And the quality is there for my YouTube videos. And um, you can start with much cheaper cameras if you want to do YouTube. Obviously, I would recommend it. Uh, there's a Rode microphone on there. I would recommend a better microphone than whatever comes standard with a camera. Uh, a little tripod that I use, but every now and then I also use this tripod which allows me to do uh, well get the camera higher and of course I have a light and aperture this is my main light I used to have two of these but one broke down and uh, to replace it I got an Elgato key light these are very uh, popular for um, streamers they usually have two or three of those on their desk they're pretty cheap um, they give a good amount of light for my desk area but this one just uh, gets more light and uh, more reach. So this can actually light a much bigger area and I really have to sit near this key light to see any function of it. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the setup. A uh, very important thing for me. This is really part of Orange Pixel since I've been doing these weekly videos. Um, it's a, a key part of my hardware setup. So I um, shouldn't forget about that one. So um, I think that really covers everything. Like I said, I have a lot of stuff here that just looks good in the background and a lot of junk that I should probably sort through it and throw away a bunch of those things. But um, most of the work and stuff is happening here at the desk and um, it's very clean. I like it very clean. I don't like a lot of stuff on my desk. Uh, I have a piece of paper and a pen here to do scribbles and notes and stuff like that. But other than that, um, everything happens on the computer and digitally. So, tiny office. All right, just one more thing. I wanted to end this video uh, downstairs because this corner has, well, uh, me and my wife have a huge love for comic books and graphic novels and stories and things like that. So as you can see, uh, this is where I just get a lot of inspiration from. Story-wise, uh, scenery-wise, uh, just everything. Uh, graphic novels are just, Awesome, so uh, this is a huge collection and we have a little bit more over there, but uh, the sun is uh, lighting up everything, so it's very bright. Uh, we have more over there. And um, that's pretty much everything uh, that inspires me and that allows me to create games and is my studio. Uh, of course, we have these little creatures that help me relax. And this is Milo, this is Niggy. Uh, you might have seen him as a kitten a few weeks ago, but damn, they grow fast very quickly. He's already as, almost as big as the other cats. 
it is doing great he's a very cuddly a very nice except when he starts to be active then he's everywhere in the house and runs everywhere and we all get a little bit crazy but um when he's nice and calm he's pretty cool all right um, that's it i'm gonna end this video i'm gonna edit it upload it and you hopefully will like subscribe comment below and um let me know if i missed anything in the office studio if there's anything you want to hear about or talk about because i can always do a follow-up video when i have nothing else to shoot so um thanks for watching see you next week bye yeah.